Hey guys, it's Rhonda from Rhonda's Creative Corner and I am going to show you how I fluff my tree. As you can see here, I'm just opening up the branches to be able to place the tree together. This was my very first time doing an upside down tree and I was really excited to try it. So what I'm doing here is just taking each individual branch and opening up the pines to see how I actually want it to be fluffed. All right guys, so I wanna show you how I fluff my tree. This is my first time doing a upside down tree, but it's all the same, all right? So when you're going, I always like to start at the bottom. And I like to work my way around. Sometimes it just depends on how I'm feeling. You know, I can just go do a whole row and go all the way around and open them up as I go up, okay? So that's what I have been pretty much doing as I've been going. Sometimes I find myself kind of drifting away from that, but it really doesn't matter because as long as you come back and you make sure and you're looking around, making sure that everything is fluffed and you have no holes in there, then you're good. But what I do when I'm first starting off is I get one of the branches and then I start here in the inside. And I just start pulling them, whichever ones are further back, I just start to pull them down. All right, and I'm just opening them up, making sure that I'm using each one of them. You don't wanna have two stuck together because what is that doing? That's wasting, right? You wanna make sure that you're using all of them and opening them up, okay? And one of the other things too is that sometimes this is up too far, so you wanna kinda pull it down to where it meets, okay? Because this one has to come over here. And so once I pluck this one, this was just high enough for the camera, but as you can see, it's still a hole there. But once I go to this one here, that's further down, I'm just pull it. And I'm just starting from the back of them, making sure that I'm using each one of them, okay? Each one of the pines that's on there. And this is a Vickerman tree. It's very, very nice. I love it. And I think I got it on Target. I got it on Target.com. I got it last year, but I didn't ever use it. And so what I'm doing is I'm just spreading it out, making sure that everything is gonna work. So I see that there's a hole right here, but plus I have to go over there on the other side and um, open that up too. So once I kind of fill that in over there and open those up too, you won't see such a big hole, okay? So you just keep coming back and I'm just gonna keep pulling down until they meet. You know, not the two stems meet, but where this is covering up, where you have enough coverage. This is a very, very flexible tree. I love this tree. I was so excited to put it together. All right, so that's how I do it. And then if you wanna go where you're going from bottom to top and doing just one side, or you can do one going around one row, it's really up to you and what you wanna do. You know, as you guys know how I create, I'm, Kind of a free creator. I tell you guys that all the time. Whatever is on my mind to do, that is what I do. But the main thing about fluffing is you want to make sure that there's no holes. Once you're all done, that there's no holes. So once I go over here to this side and I open these up, you won't be able to see that. Because that's just my hand. I haven't even opened it, but it'll be closed as well. All right? All right, back to the fast forward. Right, guys so one of the things that I highly recommend is that you use gloves when you're fluffing your trees I actually stopped and I went to the store and I used hand sanitizer in the car and oh my god my hands were burning so bad from fluffing the tree so yep I'd recommend wearing gloves especially if you're doing multiple trees throughout the year or if you have sensitive skin get you some gloves As I continue to move up the tree and fluffing it, I get so excited because the tree is so nice and full. This is a Vickerman tree, and I was actually thinking about doing reviews on trees that I have used. This is one of my favorites. 
All right, guys, so now that I have it kind of how I like it, as you can see, it's a few little holes in there. You can see right in here, right in there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go and get the branches, mostly that are in the inside, and I'll go in and I'll spread them out where I can cover up those holes, okay? So I want to show you something that um, is helping me a whole lot. If you, even if you're not filming yourself, if you can have a camera over there where you can actually see your holes and you have some light, it's awesome. So I was having some, as you guys saw before, I was having some areas where it was a hole. So if you see right there. So what I went in there and did, I kept moving the branches around, moving the branches around, and it wasn't working. So what I went and did is I went and I just pushed down on the leaves. And I'm just pulling them down. So what I mean is taking the whole stem, all of that the pines are on, and I'm just pulling them down to me. And it's covering up the hole. This one won't be stubborn, but yeah. But yeah, I'm looking at it in the camera. So I'm able to see, there we go. I'm able to see where my holes are. And so I'm just taking some of the one of the pines or whatever, and I'm just pulling down. Alright guys, so there you have it. How to fluff a tree. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. And if you need high quality resupplies, you can head on over to our shop at www.rondascreativecorner.com. And don't forget, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to push that notification bell. Alright guys, until next time. Bye guys.